Hey, what's up, guys? We just got a bunch of customs in from some of our favorite builders. Um, we're just going to jump right in, starting off with the hive from Jake McClay. So check it out. I am in the presence of greatness. <laughs> no. It's been a while since we had one of these beautiful, amazing, gorgeous instruments bolted look. And sound, I have a Hive ukulele by Jake McClay. And I've always loved his work. We've always loved his work here. Um, we got beautiful Sitka spruce with Amazon rosewood back and sides. We also got Amazon rosewood on the top and back binding. The black and white perfing lines actually with maple and uh, got that Amazon rosewood rosette with uh, there's also ebony um, binding around the the sound hole which is you know you don't you don't usually see that but it's that fine detail with Jake uh, McClay's work which is incredible um, ebony bridge fretboard faceplate um got this really nice uh bridge pins here that are inlaid with uh mother of pearl just beautiful and the whole fretboard has uh purfling lines running from the bottom to the the top of the fretboard uh the top and back the back plate and the faceplate both ebony, as you can see, the lines that go through top and back. It's beautiful. Ebon, uh, ebony buttons on the Waverly tuners. And Waverly tuners, some of my favorite. Really, really easy to use. Very, very smooth. Um, this is something very interesting that Jake does. And we have a, a, cu a couple other uh, luthiers that we... Um, we get a close from that does the same thing, but this there's a I don't know if we can get it on camera. There's these scallops at the the nut. I mean, in between the strings, there's a there's this really cool looking groove. If you can catch that on any of the cameras, really, really, really cool design. Last but not least, the side port. So. Give it a listen. And uh, 12 fret to the body as usual. Um, fret dots, 3, 5, 7, 10. Double fret dot on the 12th fret. And then on the 15th, same as the, the sides. Or on the side, so. It's a beautiful neck. What is, what is that on there? Mahogany. Mahogany. Wow. Anyways.
something like that. That, uh... Really good for finger picking. You don't have to try to make it make noise. Wow, that sounds so good. <laughs> Dang, dude, that thing sounds bad. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm gonna now on use alternative words. This one has a has a thick tone. Yeah, this one's thick. Yeah, just got a new Pepe in, and this is probably the first model I've seen with Sinker Redwood, which is one of my favorite tone woods. And um, this has all of the uh, of the new skin bracing that he's been using, which sounds great, offers amazing balance and structural stability. So uh, yeah, this is his Series 5 tenor and um has really nice abalone around the purfling rosette double pick guard you know these tops are pretty soft so you want to be careful um when you do any kind of strumming or when you plant your finger down then you know these pick guards will add extra protection which is great um back and sides check this out beautiful Rosewood, actually, this is Indonesian rosewood. First that I've, uh, first time I, I think I've seen it. Very interesting coloring and grain. Got some this thick sapwood coming down the middle and on the uh, the sides here. So on top of that, um, you wouldn't guess what kind of finish this is. I didn't think this was a French polish because it's so smooth it looks like it was i mean i thought this was a regular like spray on type gloss but very very smooth and you wouldn't i mean looking up close you couldn't even tell that it was a french polish but beautiful work as always got top and back ebony binding and ebony bridge fretboard we got we got the same Indonesian rosewood on the faceplate and the good old trusty Goto UPT tuners, black buttons and silver hardware. This thing sounds ridiculous. I mean, this is me playing lightly. Andrew has to turn the, the mics out of it because it's so loud. But I like uh, Pepe's necks because they're on the flatter side, and he uses an um, inch and a half nut, which widens the string spacings and allows you to do like, these really cramped chords, like these diminished ones, and 
you know, augmented ones and stuff. Moreover, it allows you to get up to the higher frets. Check this out. Yeah. Can't hit that fret, but how clear it is up here. Touching it and it thing just sings. Let's get a quick tune real quick. Quick tune real quick. Every note is just every single note. Sings.
It's a really long sustain. Jeez.
before I get carried away. This is the uh, little Pepe baritone scale. Um, solid spruce top. Indian, uh, not Indian, Indonesian rosewood back and sides. This thing is gorgeous. Just as gorgeous as it as it sounds. Um, yeah, right now we have it tuned G to G. This is the best tuning for for this instrument. And you can you know you can totally hear it hear why. It's like a mini classical guitar, but the sound's not so mini. Um, sounds like a full-size guitar. It's, incre it's incredible. Last but not least, is that right? Anyways, we have an Ono baritone from good friend up in Oregon, Dave Ingalls. And this is with his new, um, he does a laminate back and sides now, and that helps with the overall uh, sustain and clarity of the instrument. And you can hear it in this, this baritone. Usually, baritones with its tuning, uh, DGBE, what it's in now. Um, you know, you get a, sometimes it can be too muddy, but this is one of the clearest baritones I've ever heard. Just hearing it like this, you wouldn't be able to tell that it, that it is a baritone, but, um, yeah, got beautiful spruce on top beautiful clara walnut laminate it's um the the top and back of the laminates are both clara walnut you can see on the inside it's um you know really nice clara. anyways uh solid spruce top ebony top and back binding with uh what looks like 
maple purfling lines, white purfling lines. And uh, we got the floating bridge. Cantilever. Cantilever. Ebony bridge. Fretboard. Um, got Clara Walnut on the faceplate with all black uh, UPT Koto tuners and the uh, really nice Ono logo. Nothing super, super fancy, which I like. I like simple. And uh, yeah, this neck. I like this neck shape a lot. Satin neck, um, gloss body. Got Claro, uh, Claro walnut, nice maple. Um, you know, on the on the rosette with these black and white perfume lines. Very very nice design as always. Thank you, Dave, for always sending us awesome instruments. And uh, enough of my chattering. Listen to what uh, what this baritone sounds like.
right, guys. We'll see you next time. Mahalo for tuning in.